Uh, the next one, the location capture widget. Again, most of you will be familiar with this one. We've had this for quite a while now since published my data back in the 2009, I think. It has been extended a little bit um, in the last year to provide uh, resolution by the Australian Gazetteer uh, and also obviously Google uh, services. And this is another really great widget that people can incorporate into their data capture tools. Um, where they can record information about, say, where the data is being collected, where an activity is taking place, um, and other spatial information like that. Um, the widget itself, obviously, you can record points, you can draw your own regions, custom regions, um, you can resolve coordinates, lat long coordinates, um, and you can also do the search um, in Australian Gazetteer and Google itself. That's another really handy widget, um, and we've had some good response on that one, um, of people looking to use it. So again, just the address, researchdataaustralia.ans.org.au forward slash developers. And this is basically the home page. Uh, so at the top, we just have a couple of menus, obviously to the widgets, the web services, uh, the registry software, and the community itself. And just a little uh, slideshow um, showing a couple of the widgets that are available. There's also links down the bottom with a little bit more of a description about each of the items that are available in the toolbox. So I'll just click on the widgets. Um, and you come into sort of the widgets landing page, which has a listing of all the widgets that are available. So these are all the ones that I've just gone through. So as you can see, the widgets themselves are really well documented. We have some use cases for how people might want to use them, um, a little description about the widget itself. Um, quick links to the sections within uh, the widget um, documentation. The immediate downloads of the software itself, so the packaged up widget that people can install. Um, you'll notice that there's two widgets, uh, two download um, options there. The first one is just the, the source code as it normally is. The second one is a minified um, version, which is basically the code all um, stick, stuck together onto a single line, um, basically to, to make it faster for the applications uh, to read and, and download. And literally, the, as I said, they're, they're really easy to implement. There's, you basically copy and paste the code here and put it into your web page and you'll, you'll have a um, functioning um, widget. We have a few demos on the page to see to show people how they can be configured. Um, and then down the bottom, in, this is pretty much the same across all of the widget documentations. There's a section on configuration, um, which probably doesn't mean a lot to me and to, to others, um, but it's, if you're a developer, you'll understand some of the properties and, and um, things that can be passed or implemented in the widget themselves um, to customize the look and feel um, and the functionality itself in, in the widget.